guys, me host Supersonal. Thank you very much for tuning in. Look what I got. It's Harley Quinn. Now this Harley Quinn is one of the Click and Connect series, and I believe this was an exclusive range that came out. I believe Harley and there's another character there that I'm not quite familiar with were the exclusives in the range. I got this from Amazon while I was in the United States, and it's been a little while since we've been back, and I really wanted to break her out of the packaging and take an awesome closer look at her. So let's break her out of the packaging today, guys. Okay. Click and connect Lex Luthor. Doesn't come with any Lex Luthor pieces, like I said, I believe she was an exclusive. Um, I'm sure she was Amazon exclusive, or what? I think she was a Walmart exclusive in the United States, maybe. I may be wrong. <laughs> but this was another Harley Quinn, and you know me, guys. I have trimmed down on the amount of DC stuff that I'm buying, uh, but I still collect Joker and Harley. As always. Love the King and Queen of Gotham. Some Marcello. Oh no, thought I had some Marcello tape on that bad boy. There we go, top. Yeah. A little bit of Marcello here. How would you like the new setup, guys? Did you like the new intro? And how are we liking the new. I'm a bit further back, you can see what I'm doing with my hands now. Doesn't look like I'm just sat talking to myself. Woo! Something went flying. A dodgy Tesseract looking thing. <laughs> see, I'm a little bit further away than usual, so I'm hoping you like the new angle. Does mean you can't really see any of this stuff that was behind me over here, but I'm going with a new angle. And I think it's for the best, because I like the fact that now I'm further away, you can kind of see what I'm doing. Okay. Anyway, I might come up with a whole new way of filming very soon. I'm trying new things out, because things have been pretty much the same for the past two years on the channel. So I'm shaking things up a bit. So any feedback you can give me in the comments below on your on your viewing experience with me, I'd love to know. Whether or not you know you you like my content still, what I could improve, what would make you happy as a viewer if I changed something. Okay guys, Harley is free from the plastic prison. Okay guys, and here she is out of the packaging, looking awesome, I'm loving this figure, she feels really cool, feels nice, doesn't feel flimsy actually, feels very sturdy. Let's see if I can get this camera, it's a new camera so you'll have to bear with me, I'm not sure if we can, yeah we can't really do this on this camera, it doesn't like to focus, it's a bit darker as to where I am. Hmm. Maybe if we put some more light on the situation. Ooh, blinded. Ha -ha. See if that makes a difference. So here is Harley Quinn. Yeah, still doesn't like it. Still not digging it, is it? <laughs> we'll go to the desk cam anyway, so no point. No reason to get upset. We'll go, we'll go to the desk cam, you'll see her up close. Um, so let's have a look. So articulation wise, the head is on a ball joint, so you can make a look up and down as well as left and right. Her arms do lift up at the top hinge. They do rotate, as well as at the uh, elbow, same as a Marvel Legends elbow on the females is that. Single hinge. And the hands rotate, but they're not on a ball joint. There is a rotation at her waist, as well as at her bust. Oh no, sorry, it's just a bust joint there. Doesn't really crunch forward, but does go back a little bit. Legs lift out pretty far, as well as forwards and backwards, with a top thigh cut. And a double hinge knee that does work really well. And her foot is on a pivot and rocker. Nice, and she comes with a multiple of accessories, including a POW hammer, a gun, which we can put the bang sign in, or you could take it out and have it as a regular revolver, a cube-like object, which looks a lot like a tesseract, and then, then with the weird little pom pommy things. Which I'm guessing go around her hands or her feet or something. Just as an accessory, I think. Or is it the head or is it headbands? I'm not sure. We'll look that up. But either way, guys, this is a really cool Harley Quinn. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go to the desk cam to give you guys an up close person look at Harley Quinn on the desk cam. So Alright guys, here is our new Harley out of the packaging. She is awesome. I'm loving this face sculpt on her. It looks super nice. 
very nicely done. Uh, this reminds me a lot of the mul of the uh, missions, Batman missions version, a very colourful, modern, vibrant version of Harley Quinn based on sort of the rebirth and new Fifty Two kind of introduction of Harley. I really like it. The black and red is really nice as well. So there are accessories in this one. Obviously, we got the gun and we got the hammer. Very similar to a previous Harley that, that we got, however, this Harley is a little bit shorter. The new Multiverse Harley is over an inch taller than the previous Harley Quinn. She also came with a hammer, although it was just a plain basic one. So when you put them side by side, there's no comparison. The one with the POW and the red is so much nicer. And again, even came with a gun with a cork in the end. Um, shame it didn't fire to release the cork so you could have it hanging. Because the, the cork would be on a string, very similar to how you've got the bang. I much prefer the gun with the bang, it's a shame, I wish I could get the cork out of there and put the pole down this one, because I like how realistic the other one looks by comparison. So that's how she looks compared to the old Harley Quinn, but if we move her out of the way guys, because she's a bit too short for that, and bring in the Joker, hey Harley Quinn, <laughs> come on puddin, it's time to go home. <laughs> I'm not sure which Joker this is, but I kind of like the way these two look together, and that Joker has his awesome mad Joker cane as well. Put Jokers and Harleys aside, if we take a look, closer look at Harley Quinn, you'll see that the paint apps on the front of the figure is absolutely perfect. I really like how they've done it. I like the blending of the colours and things. It looks really nice. But if we turn her over, it's a different story. There starts to be specks of black on the white skin. Some of the, uh, some of the actual paintwork is blending into others. So it just becomes a bit of a mess, but this is like white specks on the black and stuff, so... A few issues, QC issues, but there always is with uh, these kind of figures. But for now, I think this is one of the better ones we've had in the collection for quite a while, wouldn't you agree? A nice Harley Quinn for the series. Let me know your thoughts, guys, in the comments down below, as I really do like this Harley Quinn, and I think she is properly perfect. So guys, let me know your thoughts on Harley Quinn in the comments down below. I enjoyed filming this one for you guys. I hope you enjoyed watching it. You know how much I love Joker and Harley. I still collect DC guys, as you can see. I just, I've really toned it down and scaled back to just what I want to collect, which is Harley Quinns and the Jokers, with the occasional Scarecrow thrown in for good measure. But guys, what are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments down below. Should I get the Heath Ledger Joker? And the Danny DeVito Penguin review. Let us know your thoughts on that in the comments. But let's go back to the main cam and finish off today's video. Before you go, guys, let me know what I should review next. Should we review the Living Dead Dolls and Nightmare on Elm Street Freddy Krueger that I got from the horror con that I went to? Horror con UK. It is an awesome Freddy Krueger doll that does come with sound effects. This is a Mezco Toys production, so guys, let me know if you want to see this one, or do you love Derry? Do you want to go back to Derry? And you'll float till with It, with the announcement of It 2 coming to cinemas this year on Chapter 2. I'm very excited to have gotten the blooded version of Pennywise. So if you want to see this review, make sure you cast your vote. A little eye will have appeared in the top corner, gone bloop. Go give it a click and make sure you cast your vote as to which we should review next. It's going to be a horror review, but you guys decide which horror we go for. Freddy Krueger or you'll all float down here too with Pennywise. Also, comment down below your thoughts. Well, aren't you just the right level of crazy? Care to hop on board and I'll let you play with my horn. You may want to hold on. I'm sat on top of eight horses here. Me, me. So, guys, what are your thoughts on this Harley Quinn? Let us know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, guys, please give it a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button. Subscribing always supports us, really helps out. and helps us keep making awesome videos. Like I said, if you did enjoy today's review, it is a little bit different. If you enjoyed the new setup, please let me know. I'm coming to get, get into grips with the new camera. So bear with me while we have that teething process, but this Harley's awesome. She can get in some really awesome poses. I just love her to bits. I think she's brilliant. Highly recommended. Definitely pick her up. Like I said, I got her from Amazon.com and had her shipped while I was in America, but she is available to ship to the UK. Thank you very much for watching, guys. As always, I'm your host, Supersorrel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. May the Force be with you. Bye!
Wait, don't go anywhere yet. We've still got more videos for you to watch, so why not click one of these videos? There's some awesome stuff waiting around the corner for you guys, so thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!